Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this lecture we will be studying the three basic propagation mechanisms. We all know in mobile radio communication, there is a line of sight of path through which the communication takes place. But when there is no line of sight of path, there is still communication possible. And it is possible because of these three methods that are called as reflection, diffraction and scattering. Let us study in this lecture the meaning of all of these three. The first one is called as a reflection. Reflection means that the electromagnetic wave in the mobile communication is impinging on an object and the dimension of this object is very larger than the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave. This is called as reflection. Because the wave gets reflected through these objects, it gets retransmitted in other areas. This is how the communication takes place. Now let us understand what are the areas through which the reflection will take place. There are many such obstructions or objects through which the reflection takes place. For example, consider buildings, trees, etc. These are the places through which the reflection will take place and reach the receiver. The biggest path through which the reflection take place is nothing but the ground or the earth surface. Whenever the electromagnetic waves are traveling in multiple paths, there is one wave that gets reflected through this ground wave and then reaches the receiver. So there are various other parameters or objects available through which reflection takes place. Hence reflection is one of the important parameter or important method through which the mobile radio propagation takes place. That is the radio waves from the mobile transmitter reaches to the receiver. Let us now move towards the next method that is called as diffraction. Diffraction occurs when the radio waves that are propagating are obstructed by sharp edges. This is called as diffraction. When they are obstructed by these sharp edges, there are secondary waves that are formed and these waves travel in all the directions. In other words, there is a bending of the wave that takes place and diffraction is one of the reasons why we are getting our radio waves or why we are able to receive the electromagnetic mobile transmission. At higher frequencies, the diffraction depends upon the objects, that is the geometry of the object, the amplitude and other parameters. It also depends on the phase and the polarization of the electromagnetic waves as well. Let us now move towards the last parameter or the last method through which the radio propagates that is called as scattering. So in scattering, the electromagnetic waves that are propagating are obstructed by objects that are very small with respect to the wavelength of the communication. Wavelength as we all know is the parameter through which the frequency is decided. So example, if we take higher frequency that is of 10 gigahertz, then the wavelength will be in terms of millimeters. Hence, as the radio is moving through the channel, there are various objects of the length of millimeter or less than the wavelength and hence the scattering takes place. Scattering takes place through rough surfaces or other smaller objects. For example, let us consider trees or a green patch area. In this green patch area, there are lot many trees and leaves which are of the order of very small length. This length is smaller than the wavelength and hence scattering takes place. Scattering is also one of the reasons through which we receive our signals. For example, leaves or even raindrops. At extreme high frequencies, the wavelength becomes very small. So, wave drops also are one of the reasons for scattering at higher frequencies. But if we consider GSM band that is of 900 megahertz, then raindrops do not really affect the scattering mechanism. So, for example, foliage, that is the trees, leaves, lamp post, street lights, these are all the objects through which scattering takes place. There are other objects which have rough surfaces or which are small with respect to the wavelength of the communication, scattering will take place. So, these were the three basic mechanisms through which the radio propagation is moving towards the receiver from the transmitter. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.